in the bottom right. Can anyone stop him? He is. Wong Jin Star Soki. And his opponent, the conservative textbook Protoss player. He is. SK Telecom T1 Rain. Alrighty, Tasteless. Um, you know what I was talking about before? Some maps are really great for Swarm Hosts, and some maps are only good for Swarm Hosts. And Whirlwind <laughs> is one of the maps that's only good for Swarm Hosts. Yeah, you can, you can outmaneuver Swarm Hosts on this map. You can. Uh, it's and it's also not a great map for Broodlords, really. No, it's really not it, that it really good actually for it. Really, let's actually, let's just be completely candid here. This is a very different map from the last mm -hmm. one we saw. They will, so... Whatever we see Sulky do this game, it should not look like the last game at all. It's probably, if, if you want to go into a Supreme Late game here, uh, it might be like a Mutalist type map that you want to go for <clears> yeah, if the situation is right. Uh, now, looking at it that way, from Rain, if he can, for instance, survive into four bases and there isn't a sudden Mutalist tech switch, because that's I feel like that's maybe the optimal way to play this map is Zerg. Like, open up with Ling Hydra, maybe some Roaches, whatever you want, and then hit, Zer hit Protoss when they have just barely the wrong composition to go into the Mutas and force the base trade and win that way. I think that's, like, a solid way to do it. But Yeah, I got to agree. Uh, and one thing I have to point out, I know I'm a little bit scatterbrained around because I'm so excited about this matchup, but... Go ahead. Another thing I actually wanted to point out about the last game... Uh, we talk about this a lot when people go into Swarm Host. You can get a pretty decent anti-Swarm Host army uh, as Protoss, but then uh, if you add in Broodlords to the Swarm Host army, then suddenly you have an army that like will clean the Protoss army out. Like Almost no matter what, as long as you control it right, it'll end up killing the Protoss army once at least. Which yeah. is kind of neat, and because well, you and can't really just go into Tempest from there that easily. It, 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 it's really a... Uh, it, you got to wrap your head around this concept of, of free stuff in the game, and there's degrees of how free stuff is. For instance, energy uh, on a Templar, let's say, mm -hmm. or a Viper, uh, free. Uh, but it, but then you have to wait for it to reload. You know? Yeah. Um, whereas you know, let's say you get like a Roach or something. Okay, that's that, that requires minerals in the map that will eventually be exhausted if hypothetically the game keeps going on for long enough. But then you got to go to the to the the, the free squared, which is um, locusts and, and broodlings, <laughs> where they just keep reloading. I, mean, I would say locusts are even more free than broodlings, because broodlings, they have to at least attack something. But locusts that's just true. wave after wave after wave. Yeah, and so if you can get that, especially for Zerg, uh, into the supreme late game, where you have um, uh, the, the swarm hosts, the broodlords, and then if you have some infestors with that, because the infestors are like that lower level, not the free squared, mm -hmm. but just free, where you can have you have fungals and um, occasionally infested terrans. If excuse me, <clears throat> if Zerg executes that perfectly, you can lose yeah your entire army, and Zerg basically loses nothing beyond uh, energy on the infestors mm. and a few stray units killed it here can, and there. It can be gross. And, you know, just to quickly underline what I was pointing out there, uh, that's something, and Zergs know that, obviously, that they can go into Broodlord uh, Swarm Host and have, like, this really great composition against the kind of stalker-heavy yeah. with a few High Templars and a bunch of Colossus in their type of army. But the thing is, the speed with which he went into the Greater Spire, like, Sulky is so on top of his tech transitions... Yeah. Quickest I've ever seen from a Zerg. Like he, he not too quick. Just exactly like so quick that Rain never really had a big shot. But anyways, let's take a look at this game. Sure. Gateway expand into Stargate, then the extra two gates. So he's gonna have his Phoenixes out harassing. I think we're gonna see a really fast third base here from Rain. Sulky on the other hand, he's already gotten his speed upgrade, taking his third base, everything looking fine. Yeah. Um, and the Phoenixes are just gonna continue to roam around. Uh, and try to wipe out any overlords. This is actually one of the easier maps to hide overlords on. Generally speaking, if you if you realize you're going for Phoenix, it's just because of There's the size. There's a lot of, of places they can stand. Yeah. Or float, I guess, is what they actually do. Yeah. Stand in the air. It's called float. And uh, the star, uh, the Phoenixes, rather, excuse me, uh, continue to be chrono boosted out here. Now, if he does enough damage early on, he may keep making Phoenixes. Uh, uh, I don't think he's going to be able to, though, because he has only Phoenixes and no, uh, like, Zealots warped in. Like, if he had a proxy pylon, 
then it'd be a pretty good chance. No, but. it looks like you're right because he's going to stop at four right now. Uh. And four is enough that he can continue to, to uh, do a few pokes in here and there, usually mm -hmm. get the drones on the gas. Uh, maybe get a queen that's on route to mm -hmm. another hatch. Four lifts one, a queen once to kill it, so that's it's a very important number. You yeah. have to lift twice to kill a queen. It's much more annoying for the Protoss. All right, uh, and again, just a, a chiseling off a little bit of the Zerg army here and there. And there's not a ton that Zerg can do about this beyond just get the adequate defense, which uh, even then when you have that, uh, it just keeps the uh, Phoenixes from staying or for overstaying their welcome. Mm-hmm. So they could always, of course, kill a drone off or anything else if they pick it up around the corner. Uh, supplies, basically the same right now. The Colossus tech and plus one attack has started here for uh, Rain. And Rain looks like he's off to a very good start here. Yeah, I like I like everything about it. I actually really enjoy the, the four Phoenixes as well because most Protosses stop at five. So just stopping one last, he has a third century, which a lot of times when you're doing this build, you actually go into two centuries. And he's taking that third base. This is like... Basically, this is the Heart of the Swarm, uh, you know, Heart of the Swarm Gateway Expand version of the way that Creator Prime was playing ZVP at the end of Wings of Liberty, which is like super, super greedy. And, well, that's actually really nice by Sulky. Whoa, wow, Sulky! That's, that's super good. Yeah, he, he might even try to intercept the probe on the way back here. He may fake this out and go back like that. He's going to see mm. if he's, is there a probe there. Uh, he does not see one yet, and it looks like the probe does get by. Luckily but, for Ray, and had that been uh, killed off, that would be... You know, Sulky's one of these guys, he does a lot of little things. Some, he does. Some, some we never even get to see, because yeah. you'd almost have to be standing behind him to, to catch all these little... Yeah, the, the little he's tiny nuances, that's what makes him the best. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, taking a look here, Tasteless, it's a lot of Hydra's popping out right now. So he's definitely going to go on and put on some more pressure. There's going to be at least one Colossus out when he gets there. And, again, this is like the Creator build, but the Creator build would only have two sentries. There's three here because he only went four Phoenix instead of five. So there's, like, a lot of neat little things on both sides here. Little tweaks that they've done to these types of strategies to make them better for these scenarios. He's got a tiny little army up here. Um, of Lings and Hydras. And the Colossus, by the way, is not out. So this is actually... Oh, no, I'm sorry. There is one out. Excuse me. Hmm. Um, but let's see what he can do with this. He may be able to pull this army out here. Yeah, he wants to pull it down the ramp. He doesn't want to be attacking up a ramp against that. A Nexus Cannon goes off, but that doesn't mean he can't pick off some of these buildings. And that's going to make Rain really uncomfortable, especially with all these Lings coming up. But behind this, Sulky is expanding again and making 11 drones. This, he just wants to see what he can get done with this group of units right now. And with this Colossus out here, he'll probably just turn around. God. Go back and defend. And that was really good. I mean, Look at the patience of Rain. Yeah. Oh, my God. A lesser Protoss would have come down the ramp, like, uh -oh. attacked in here, thrown up his force fields. Mm -hmm. Time warp goes down. That's what Sulky wants. Yeah. He wants him to come out and overcommit and then lose a Colossus or something like that. But Rain does not bite the bait. He doesn't. You're not going to get rain on your your worm hook. <laughs> yeah, you mean, yeah. is that what it's called, a worm hook? I well, a worm it. on a hook, but I guess it would be a fish hook, right? But it has a worm on it, so I didn't know what to call it. I'm you, not you are asking me about stuff I have no idea about, yeah. man. Like That's okay. I, you should see the number of trees I know. It's very low. I am not as somebody who's in touch with nature. <laughs> okay, true. you can be like, what kind of tree is that? I'm like, a Christmas tree? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Uh, avoid Ray, Blink, and plus two on the way. Kind of interesting. And he is upgrading Sormos. Now, Sormos aren't bad here. They're just not as good here as a Aqualon, I would say. They're good yeah. anywhere if you're Sulky, especially. Um, and Oh, you think he's actually going to stay on the Void Rays? It looks uh, like it. It looks like it. I don't know if this is good or not for th hmm. this situation. I think it will be okay for defense, but um, I'm really wondering. You know, th this whole upper right side of the map here is is free for the picking here for uh, Soul Key. Protoss does not actually have any map presence at all. No, he doesn't. Ooh, he's, oopens, he's gonna, wait, oh, do we actually it, have a Colossus and a Void Ray walking across the map? Wait. I think we do down at 6 o'clock. I think there's been a terrible mistake by Rain that he's not going to get caught on. <laughs> yeah, you see it's going back like now. You lose one extra class, one extra Void Ray right now, and you're just not going to win against Soul Key. Yeah, I we'll, think that's... We'll never get to know what that oh, is. Wow. <laughs> I wish I had that preview screen. Oh, you know what it that is? is. It's, I was uh, right. There it is. See? Yep. That stuff went all the way to 6 o'clock. Oops. Uh, but anyways... You can only imagine when Rain saw these. like, oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's like, these better get back. These better get back. These better get back. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> all right. 
Uh, really good defensive building structures by Rain. Now he's got a lot of corruptors here. Mm -hmm. He may hit with a really solid timing that's going to reset the uh, Robotech here for Rain. If he can and kill off the Colossi, then suddenly his swarm hosts are going to be something the Gateway Army can't get through. But yep. with three Void Rays, as well as ten Stalkers and four Sentries in there, that's a pretty good anti-corruptor army. That's pretty good. It is. It Can't really, really complain is. about that. If the Hydras aren't connecting with stuff, if he's targeting correctly, he's not going to lose all four claws. I no way. Well, um, essentially, Sulky's maxed out, as well as his raid. I mean, they'll be ma if, if they're not at 200, 200 yet, but they will be in under a minute here. Um, and it looks like the center map control does go to Sulky. He's basically under that watchtower. And uh, it, he's going to be able to control uh, the flow of the game pretty easily from here. Now, there are five Colossi in here, but with that many Stalkers and that many Void Rays, uh, the Corruptors are not actually the right answer anymore to them. So as far as unit composition goes, I'm liking Reigns at the moment. But with five Infestors coming out, you might be able to make something happen. Yeah. Um, very scary Protoss death while coming in over here. He does pull those uh, Swarmos back a little bit more. He's going to wait for them to cool down on the Locust to uh, refill here. And it refills just like that. And yeah. we have a, uh, we don't have a fungal. Oh, no, we do have a fungal. Excuse me. Okay, he's going to be taking out these Void Rays first, keeping everything fungal. That is absolutely fantastic. But the force fields are really, really nice here, Tasteless. Rain trying to break through. His Colossi is still very high on health. Finally, the Corruptors starting to target them down. They do end up killing off one. And I think he got the Observer. Oh, I think you're right. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got well, he, he wait, did. Wait, wait. Where's the Observer? There's I, no Observer. There's yeah. no Observer. Oh, that oh is, my god. If he I've had seen had Rain could have observer, won that. Like, an observer in this situation is so important, no I, it can't be overstated. Uh, okay, it looks like he does have an observer over here now. So, but he it, is starting to take these out But you know again. it's too late. <laughs> I can't mm. believe <laughs> oh, oh, you're kidding me! Oh, that's so bad! <laughs> that's very painful indeed. That's so oh, swarm got so my low, God. too. Oh, the observer slept in. Well, Not this one. He needs to actually bring more over and not... Well, let's see. He needs to keep him alive. He's dealing with these hydras now. This is too you know, much. He's corrupt. It's just too much. actually pick off yeah, yeah. this... Uh, oh, wow. This Imagine I, if he just had I actually am so sad right now, Parade. That's, that's really painful. Okay. Wow. So now... Wow. Well, we see that Sulky is actually being more efficient here. Zealot's warping in. Well, that's when you know that you're unhappy as a Protoss. He's on three base against a four base Zerg who has kept alive most of his high tech units. Oh god, a nice fungal. <laughs> well, you almost accidentally oh, god, got tasteless. lucky there and fungal that observer as well. <laughs> and by the way, guys, uh, don't forget, Rain does not have a fourth throughout all this. Yeah, that's that's the most painful part. He's actually just making stalkers right now. And, and when you're making okay, stalkers, that's it, GG. That's, see, that was like a three base kind of timing all in from Rain there. Soul at the end. key. And, that was this guy's like the T-1000 of Terminator 2. Oh, he is. You know? And he's he's the observer. And I don't know if we're going to find that like lava or whatever they melted him in. I wonder if Rain wins that if he has observers there non-stop. I feel like he does. I feel like the game definitely at least goes on because he could have killed off so many swarm hosts there and maybe gotten out without losing all his Colossi. But when the Colossi were all gone on top of everything else, you can't use gateway units against high tech. Like, gateway yeah. units are garb against high tech. High tech. Man, you could see this, the frustration here with the rain. He is playing really well. Um, yeah, but let's is. go back to that one that one really scary moment. There was The observer was killed. Okay, that makes sense. One observer. There were three parked at the entrance you know, uh, of, of uh, Rain's base. I didn't so, notice if Sulky was actually trying to target down observers. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because yeah. if you're, there's four of them... It's going to help a lot. There was a, a specific moment where everything had been cleaned up, the Locusts, the Hydras, the Lings, and then we just saw the Colossi and Stalkers like, move forward, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, these it's, are all going to die, right? And then we realized there's no observer. Had that been there, he would have killed off the Swarm Host and I think possibly have won that game. And you know what? Rain's going to be kicking himself for that. You know, there was a collective sigh around the world from Protoss players when he lost that Observer, Tasteless, because that is one of the hardest things how to deal with uh, sw Swarm Host, is that they're, they're like Broodlords with more range, yeah. better free units coming out. 
and they are cloaked. So it's pretty annoying. I mean, you, it's a painful thing. Everyone's lost that way before. Yeah, it hurts. We're going to go on to game number three here in this best of five after this short break, and we're going to find out if this is going to be a 3-0 or if Rain is going to have the comeback uh, of the round of eight. Stay tuned.